Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, before we get started into this amazing Harry Potter-esque eyeliner review, let's just all agree that my makeup looks awful today. Um, I don't really know what happened, I didn't sleep very well and I'm tired and I did it just completely wrong and I know it looks bad. And then the lighting is bad, um, my nails are bad, just everything is bad. But I only actually get two opportunities a week to film, so we're just going to go with it and it'll be fine. We're friends here, if you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you could subscribe and become my friend. Okay, so today we are going to be looking at a very Harry Potter-esque Victorian, Peaky Blinders possibly, cushion ink liner from the good people at Tony Maloney, Tony Malloy. Basically the idea is, is the liner itself because it is going onto a cushion pad should give me, what is the word that I want, intricate lines across my eyes. So let's open this little bad boy up and opening the packaging, I haven't actually ever used this yet so I have absolutely no idea how it's going to look but this is what you get. So we'll just take a moment just to appreciate the beauty of this bottle. Um, I'm going to try and find something to back it against. Everything's black. Everything's black. Okay, so when we actually take the packaging up close, it says inked cushion liner and cushion gel liner here. And when we undo it, your actual liner pops off just like a quill so it snaps in and out and you get a little brush which is very soft very luxurious on your actual quill so it's literally like you are writing with a quill and then when you undo the pot you get your ink cushion and this bit's just for display okay guys so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna swatch so I'm gonna put this to one side and I'm gonna dip this in here and as you can see, it's completely black. Yeah, it is black. So, um. Okay, the brush is not great. I don't, I, it doesn't hold a lot either. Okay, so it's not like a kind of bourgeois, rimmely brush that will hold a lot. So it will be interesting and the coverage it's not great. I don't know. Maybe I didn't put enough on. Let's try that again. I'm going to really saturate it this time and maybe give it just some drags maybe just to make sure that every brush is covered. I'm a bit disappointed because I feel like if it was in a point, I'd get a better result. But let's go here. No, you see, it's not great. Take the quill whilst it looks badass. Just, it's not great. This is a concern for me. I don't know how I'm going to cat eye, but um, this is the coverage you get just on normal skin. I do get the feeling this is one of those things that is more aesthetically pleasing, is that the right word, than it is practical. Okay guys, so before we actually put this on our eyes, I want to see how much this holds and once it's dry, whether or not it lasts. Kind of in line with the Tony Maloney stamper thing I did link to the video down below there that I'll explain what that actually was a hell of a lot better than I just did. Um, it's not rubbing off which is always good. There is no lub marks from what I've just done. That's always good, it's non-transferable so that's a bonus. So let's see how easy it is to remove. Got my baby wipe, got my arm, the two things that I need to do this and let's go. Okay, that was a lot easier to remove than what I thought it was going to be. It didn't hold. So whilst it was smudge proof, as soon as you applied something wet, and I used just the Huggies Pure 99% Pure Water Wipe, so that's got nothing in it really other than water, and the product did come straight off. So I don't think this is going to uh, hold too well. I will put down below the longest I've managed to get away with wearing it without having to reapply it. But let's give this a go on the eyes and find out just how easy it is to use using just the Tony Maloney 
applicator. Normally when I do my eyeliner I am quite a messy worker and I do have to get baby wipes out but we're going to try and do it without doing that as well so wish me luck. Okay, that was easier than what I thought it was going to be. I kind of feel a bit bad, but it's not overly pigmented. Let me just zoom in and show you. Can you see it's not really covering the eyeshadow great? So let's do a, another line, see if we build it up in layers. It might work a bit better. It's not awful, but it's not great. Uh, is it worth the money? I'm not too sure. Okay, so this eyeliner, depending on where you're getting it from, is going to cost you between 10 to £15. Pounds. So let's just try and do a basic flick which is quite difficult, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't hate it, it's just not as pigmented as what I would want from an eyeliner, but as you can see, it has gone on okay. I'm going to try and layer up that flick a bit more, just to try and get it a bit more pigmented. I almost feel like that's the best I'm going to get from that eye, so I'm just going to quickly do my other eye. Okay, so I've managed to do both of my eyes and... Um, they're not done particularly great, but I know what the problem was. I think what happened is the top surface I was using had all dried out, so all I'm doing is just trying to re-moisten it, trying to re-lube it a bit, and kind of get it working again, and then I honestly feel like once I've done that, it will be much better. So I will leave down in the comments down below how I kind of feel after I've done that, I'm going to finish this off with a little bit of mascara and I am using my Makeup Revolution Cheap and Cheerful Amazing Volume Mascara. It is a really good mascara. Link to that whole video down below. And as you can see, that has just instantly improved my eyes. Ah, I look less tired. Okay guys, so if I do this, you can really see the transparency of the liner. But you can see on the end where I started to kind of jig up the cushion that it did start to get thicker. In all fairness, it's not a bad liner. Like I said, when I was doing the rub test, it did hold up. It came off quite easily. I suppose that is good, especially if you're staying over at something like your boyfriend's house. Not only do you have a little cute eyeliner to display, but, you know, when you wash your face, you ain't going to be looking like a raccoon. That's always good. I don't have that problem, it's just me and my cat, but if I did have a boyfriend, I could bust this out. I'd be like, oh my god, that's so cool, what is that? And I could be like, that's my Tony Maloney, Tony Maloney cushion pen. My main bugbear with this is the application brush. That is what it looks like. As I'm sure you are all aware, normally application brushes are done, so you can get a much more intricate line, and you can see my dry skin on my hand. Isn't that delightful? Right, so I do not think this is worth 10 to 15 pounds at all of anyone's money i'm really sorry aesthetically if i can do this yes i would pay for it sadly the liner itself kind of does suck um i don't know if it like i said it is just because mine dried out but today it sucks put down below my final scores but as it stands as of today with my crusty eyeliner I would give the bottle 10 out of 10 because the bottle is freaking amazing applicator is just gonna stay at about a six because this is this is not good for eyeliner this is like a paintbrush I mean if you're careful you can do it but it, when it comes to actually flicking out your cat eyes it's not gonna work for you trust me you're going to need to baby wipe it or sellotape it or do something to get it to work. The actual liner itself, sorry, I'm very, today. The actual liner itself, um, like I said, it was smudge proof. It passed that test, but it was very transparent. And coats I started to apply with this, the more it would start to crumble off. So there's that issue as well. If you've got some spare money lying around, buy it, empty the crappy eyeliner and put your own eyeliner in, keep it and just have the eyeliner brush to hand. You can enjoy the cute bottle. Overall, um, I would not recommend you rush out and buy this. I think £15 is a lot for a kind of crappy little cushion of eyeliner. I mean, that's all I got. And then if I put my finger in a lot, you get more, but 
you can see it's very gluey and even then it's just it's like PVA it clumps like okay it's like mascara it is actually like mascara okay that is what it is like I feel like it is a liquid mascara that is the best way to describe this product that's why it's long lasting because I should imagine it's got the same technology as a mascara in it I feel like I've just solved something Okay, sorry that ended on a bit of a bum note, but um, I was expecting Harry Potter wonderfulness from uh, ye old liner, and I didn't get it. This product is available on Amazon, eBay, and the official Tony Maloney, Tony Malloy website. I will link the official website down below, but not the individual listings where you can find it elsewhere, on Tinternet. I will leave that to you to go and find yourselves. But yeah, kind of sucked. Sorry. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you could subscribe, that is awesome. You will find lots of random crap on my channel. Some of it good, some of it bad. Who knows? I don't know what you like, what you don't like. But it is nice to be nice. So if you could like and subscribe, that would be awesome. And hopefully I will see you next time.